I don't feel like I ever get tired of it. You know, I'm just living my life, and uh, you know, I try to be a positive, and, and and all I want to do is make sure I live a life that honors my friends that were killed uh, for our freedom. So whatever that may be, I hope that that's how I come off as. Were you conflicted? Did you feel like joining the others, the military? Oh uh, no, you know, I was army, so you know, I, yeah, we got to hold the grudge, and, <laughs> and you know, in the all services of duty. So, but no, it was pretty cool to be out there and see them running around. I felt it felt really good to be able to, to do that for those guys. You got a chance to. to address them a little bit what was, what I was did. your message uh you know i just kind of told them you know thank you for their service uh you know i told them in all reality if it wasn't for the air force i probably wouldn't be alive today uh during the battle we had to have a lot of gun runs and we had two uh what's called going winchester when a b-52 bomber dumps its entire payload at the time it had only happened one time in the war in afghanistan in 01 and when i was there on one day we had two so i've had danger closed bombs within 600 meters i've uh had apache gun runs a10 so for air force to to let to let them know that i was very appreciative of what they do especially for me being here so did they know who you were did they, did they know who you were before fisher introduced you? uh i don't think so you know i don't you know i don't i don't think you know i i don't know if anybody knows me so uh, you know i thought that it was just very very, it was very humbling for me to go up there and say thank you to them, and, and I, I'm glad that we had a great, great time and, and, and interacted with them.